Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to actually using um, custom NPCs mod, how to create dialogue. Now, first, I'm just going to make a player and it'll get a random name at first. You can always change it. Let's just type in elephant and uh, you can already pick from some or you can like get this. Um, let's just type in doggy. And a doggy? No, it's this thingy. I don't know. Let's just leave it. Um, and you can also like put on capes or something. It's really awesome and everything. But that's not the point. That's not what we're here for. And um, so you want to go to global in the top bar and go down to dialogues. First, you're going to have this. If you want to add to that, that's fine. But I always start with the new one. Now you can name this one, and I'll just name it doggy for now. Then you want to hit dialogues now then you're going to see this little dialogues box become categories you want to hit add and then you can rename it now you'll see something a little bit like this and i would put if i were you doggies first or just first in general because this will help you later on in the future if you want to add in dialogue options which we'll get to in a second now, if you click on dialogue text, you will see this little box popped up. You can paste things in, copy or clear, and even close. Closing will save your work. Now, if I want for Doggy here to say, Hello, my name is Doggy. I love doggies. What do you love? And then just hit close. Now, if I click on dialogue text again, it'll be saved. Now, here we have dialogue options. Now, faction options and availability options don't really matter here, but you want to hit dialogue options. Now, when you hit it, you're going to have this little, like, sixth, sixth edit bar thing, and it's going to say dialogue options. Now, you want to hit on the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth, or sixth one. Either one doesn't really matter unless you want for it to be like that. Now, if you want for it to be a different color, then you'll have to get more Cody and Nerdy, which I am clearly not ready to do yet. But this will change automatically into whatever you have if you type in the correct, like, numbers and letters and make it be, like, you know, correct. But I don't know how to do that. So, first things first, you want to go down to option type and it should say disabled at first. You want to keep clicking it until it gets to select dialogue. Now we'll get into this next. Now let me just say, I love elephants. Thanks for asking, doggy. And then hit done. Now you can also set up quests and sounds and everything, which I might as well do. Let's just do the swimming splash. Gotta have my microphone turned off. But anyway, that's not important. Then, you want to hit add, and it won't get rid of this one. And you can hit... I would recommend doing it, like, in order. Like that. And then you hit dialogue options. No problem. And you want to try to mash it up as much as you can with the first one. And kind of blend it in as if it was a real sentence. Now, no problem, elephant. Elephant. I love elephants too. Now, that should save. And you want to hit dialogue options. You do not have to do any of this if you want to end it off. It'll just be blank. Now, I'm going to actually change this to doggy. But that doesn't really matter. You can also hide and show when attacking and all this other crazy stuff that I might get into later. But for now, we're going to stay out with this. Now, if you want for it to work, you have to go to advanced, hit lines, go to interact lines, and delete this hello at P. This will make it be so that they won't say hello and then your username. Then you want to go back to advanced, go down to dialogues, hit it. Then you want to start on zero. Now you want to go to select option and hit it. Now you should come up to the select dialogue category. You want to hit the custom one or villager if you're under it. Mine is the custom one so I'm going to hit doggy. And this is where naming them actually comes in handy. Now, what you want to do when they come for you... No, I'm just kidding. Um, you want to hit the first one, and it should say that. Now, you don't have to do anything else, really. 
Now, I forgot to do something that's really, really important, which is actually go and blend them. So, dialogue options, go to the one that you did, and then it should say select dialogue, and you want to hit it and go to the second one or the next one that you want to do. Now, you just hit the X, and that is going to save all of your work, as you can see here. Now, hello there, I'm stumbling upon the woods, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, and this works great for machinimas and everything, I'm just saying. And then, you just have to right-click on the character. Hello, my name is Doggy, I love doggies. What do you love? I love elephant. Thanks for asking, Doggy. No problem, elephant, I love elephants too. And then you just hit escape. And then you just walk away. But there is more. There is more. So much more. You can also add in quests and like word lines and interact lines to this. And you can say, doggies. And then once you right click, it should do it if you didn't have the sections done. Like how I have in this dialogue. So if I get rid of that and right click, it should just say, doggies. And you can also do this for, uh, like, killed lines, attack lines, word lines. Doggies. Doggy. Lulz. And then if you just stand around them for a long enough amount of time, you can right-click and I'll say the word lines and everything. And, uh, there we go. It's starting to work a little. And, uh, let's just, let's just, like, sit around. Maybe she'll say something. I have done this before, so I'm positive that it works. I am in the 1.7.10 version of Minecraft right now because I have Forge on that. There is a 1.8 update, updated version of it, but yeah. So let me just cut in the video until she actually says it and I don't right click on her or anything, so yeah. Okay, so I got rid of her interact lines, which should maybe do it. I'm not too sure, but let's just stick around for some more time and figure this out. Now, another thing that you can do, other than the dialogue options, is use your NPC wand, which is not craftable, by the way, and only can be obtained in creative mode. Right-click your character, go to AI, Ooh. no, just kidding, advanced, go down to roll, and go to trader. Now, on trader, go over and hit edit. Now, here, you would need any type of currency that you're willing to put in and just shove it on one of the two square lines and then just put what you want to sell in the one box. Now, for, in this case, I need this diamond coin if I want to buy the new phone. Now, let me just get a diamond coin. Okay, so you can get a ton of diamond coins if you want and then it'll just take them right out of your inventory and you can get, like, all the phones in the world. So let's just do that. Let's get all the phones in the world. Buying all the phones in the world. Just do that. Oh, they're stacking. Okay. So we're just getting all the phones in the world, and by the time you know it, you already have like seven billion, like the sixth iPhone in the world. I don't want to say brands because brands, but <laughs> yeah. So me and Dougie here. Me and Doggy Woggy are going to say bye for today. A uh, thing on how to make them actually like sit and do quests and everything will be coming out shortly. But for now, I am going to be doing only little baby steps in, in the mods and everything because I only can do 15 minute videos right now and I'm trying, guys. I really am. But without further ado, thank you all for watching this short little episode of a mod review. I will see you all later. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and smack that like button with your big old your nose. Because every like and sub and comment and share and favorite counts. I always read your comments, so don't even worry. Because there's not very many at the time. But anyway, I would just like to say today is the the one year anniversary of Villager Buds, so if you could please show your support, like it up, comment the vid, and do whatever, because it's a Saturday. Saturday's rule. So, I will see you all in the next video, take care, and one more thing I forgot to mention is that these saves in the dialogues and stuff will not transfer through other worlds. So... If you want, you can always just copy it or something. But other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. 
and make sure to smack the like button and goodbye.